The Last of Us. Us. The Last of Us was my first PS4 entire gaming experience. I got a PS4 recently, super excited about that, and I thought I wanted the Uncharted Collection to be my first PS4 experience. That's actually coming in the next review, but it turned out being The Last of Us Remastered. I had heard nothing but superb things about this game, and I thought, you know what? I love video games. I love doing movie reviews, but I kind of want to do a video game review as well for this because I feel like there's something to talk about, and there absolutely is. The Last of Us is an incredible story following Joel and Ellie as they make a trek across the country and back after the world has gone to pot. There are people wanting to kill everybody. There are zombie type people wanting to kill everybody as well. And as Joel, it is your job to protect Ellie because she contains the cure, supposedly, to saving mankind. And this game is incredible. The acting that is incredible, the motion capture work, it looked especially better on the PS4 remaster. The environments are really amazing because they do feel very aged as if the world has gone to pot over time. It all felt very natural. The gameplay was incredible. So let's break this down just quickly. I don't just want to say those things and not explain why are some of my favorite parts of it. So one of my favorite aspects of the game was the incredible bond that I formed with Ellie as playing as Joel. And then it's really cool because in the end of the game, you get to play as Ellie for a little bit and get some of that perspective as well. I think it's an incredible father-daughter relationship that they're able to capture here in this game. It took me about 14 and a half hours to complete it. And that relationship that is formed just keeps growing and growing where every time she was out of my sight, I was worried and I think they really capture those paternal instincts very well and you really come to grow and love these characters and care for them you don't want to see any harm come to them and i think the creators of this game did a spot on job with bringing those emotions from the player into the game and vice versa the other thing i wanted to talk about is the game mechanics were extremely well done uh, pulling out your gun, uh, shooting, crafting different supplies, picking things up. Nothing felt meaningless or tedious. It all felt very quick and fluid. The upgrades make sense. I don't really care for games that have a bajillion upgrades and they don't really make any sense or seem to do any good. I also don't care for games that have just a bunch of useless stuff artifacts like in Tomb Raider or even in Uncharted where it's like why do I even care about collecting this stuff it just feels like a waste of time now there are collectibles but and you could make the argument that some of them do seem unnecessary but some of them are very fascinating to read and listen to because it just immerses you in the world much more and there's more to find but I didn't find an unnecessary amount in this game. One of the negatives that I did have with this game was probably the third act was too long for me personally. I felt like they could have condensed it, optimized it a little better. I felt like, oh, okay, this is the climax. And no, it wasn't. It still had another couple hours to go, it felt like. And then I thought, okay, this has to be the climax. And there's still a number of things left to do. So to me, it felt dragged out a little bit, but once we did get to the very end, it was extremely satisfying. It was an extremely satisfying journey. And this game hooks you from the opening, which is one of the best openings I've ever seen in video games because it uses all of your emotions. It feels so real. And then it's mirrored very well in the end of this game. So I was super impressed with The Last of Us. If you haven't played it, please go out and check it out. I'm giving it 10 out of 10. Uh, it's that good. I'm extremely impressed with it. And I'm really excited to see what else Naughty Dog can do with The Last of Us Part 2. So thank you for watching my review of The Last of Us. Please click like and subscribe. Go ahead and watch some more videos and share this with your friends. And we will catch you next time.